Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today I'll be talking about the administrating your service cloud and why it is important. Right now, in the last episode, I talked about what service cloud is all about and the reason why you should go for it. Okay. Now, the service cloud has something called service cloud setup, which is a bit different to a usual setup. Okay. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So the, the first thing first, right, you need to log into an org. And if you look, go to this gear cog icon, right? So you see there are two kinds of setup, right? One is a normal setup and another one is a service setup. Um, so I'm after service setup today. So you go to service setup here and you will see a little bit different uh, to a regular setup page, right? So you look at here, this is the regular one, which is a little bit different, right? you have this left pane which is fine but the things are a little bit different on the left pane if you compare this with a regular setup um so this is how the service setup looks like so you have left pane as you can see that's you know you have administration platform tools uh automation right the things which you need to configure your service cloud which is pretty cool um and you have information about the omni channel now if you go to the normal uh setup and and look for um omni channel it it will show under service right see this is the thing and but if you go here um it just show on the administration right so it, what that means is that it's telling you that it's a part of a service cloud right so that's cool and then you have you know recommended setup so there are you know there are uh um, two kinds, uh, there are different setups. Okay, one is the, um, you know, normal guided setup, which is what um, these are the guided setup, right? Connect to your support email and, you know, um, so a knowledge setup, lightning community setup, these are, um, uh, these are to, you know, turn, you know, just to help you set up things, right? And these are the recommender setup, recommender setup, you know, just to set up the key features, right? Um, and so, for instance, you can add your user. So, you know, if you if you go to the get started, you know, you can you know add the user email. So it's pretty simple, right? So you can do that here. Um, and then you have custom case status, right? The case status, right? If you are working with the case, because in the service cloud, uh, cases plays a very important role. Um, so the cases have different statuses, right? So let me show you what I meant by that. So you got new um, and you're working and it's graded. And if you wanted to add a new one, you can say uh, decline, for instance, right? And you can add that as well and you can, you can save it, okay? <clears throat> so, um, and then you have, you know, connect to your support email. So this is another thing which you can do that, right? So, so if you wanted to, I mean, I'll show you guys in the later episode how to configure these things. But today I just wanted to give you an overview, you know, if you wanted to administer Service Cloud, you know, where you can go and what you can do, right? So it's just a, a kind of an introduction um, exercise today, right? Um, then you have something called the service uh, metrics. So that is something here. So it's like a dashboard, right, to monitor your service performance and also the check on the health of your team and overall customer satisfaction. You can pretty much um, go to this place and have a look at it. And and the nice thing, what I like, right, this is the current usage, right? You can talk about the Salesforce license and the service license, which is pretty nice in my opinion. It gives you a graphical representation of the licenses that it consume. And then you have the service feature, then you have a storage, then you have other stuff, right? And here you have, you know, the cases created and the cases closed. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, so, and on the left pan, left pane, right, which is also called as a setup tree, right? It's in the form of a tree view. Um, so you can have different options, like I said, you know, um, so you have administrator, you have, you know, user, you can actually look at the user queues profile, right? Pretty simple. Um, and then you have, you know, field service, you have you know, data, company settings, you know, whatnot. So 
this is um, you know the pretty the simple thing I, I just wanted to talk about and uh, one more thing I just wanted to mention that you know we have seen that you have service um, something called you know service console and service right now if you wanted to uh, customize this it's pretty simple to do that as well right for instance um, go to service console um, and <clears throat> And you see that this is a service console, all right? Nice and easy. And you can customize this pretty simple way. So what you can do, you can uh, go to um, uh, App Manager, just a second. Uh, just look at the App, app Manager, just click the App Manager. And you know, you just go to you know somewhere here, you know, service maybe somewhere down, right? You go to service console if you wanted to, you know, edit it. You can actually edit this one, yeah. And you can, yeah, right? you can you can change if you want to change the icon. You can do that. App options you can change, right? Uh, utility items you can change that if you wanted to add a utility items you can do that, right? Navigation items you can change it, you know, or what all the things you wanted. Um, so if you wanted to see the active scratch orgs, you know, which is pretty cool in my opinion, uh, you can do that as well, right? And it's it's pretty simple. Um, and you have the navigation rules, user profile. It's pretty much like what you can do with the sales cloud. So, you know, you pretty much can do with this here, right? Um, so, you know, just refresh it and so, you know, you, I've added active scratch works as you can see, you know, so you can customize it. It's, it's pretty simple. You can administrate it. You can configure it the way you like, right? Configure the way that your customer likes. So it's very flexible. It's, you know, a lot of things you can do with this. And so that's pretty much I wanted to talk about today. It's just an introduction uh, episode around the setup, right? Uh, I know you, you guys are excited. I mean, we're going to do a lot of cool stuff, you know, in the coming episode. Sorry, I've been you know, a bit slow lately because, like I said, right, you had a holidays and just started working. So I've been yesterday, been busy, and I need to, you know, uh, finish some things associated with the platform app builder because Salesforce has updated the course. So, you know, I just need to, you know, update that as well. So, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. You guys have an amazing uh, evening. Adios.